Hey guys, it's me Patrick somebody again and welcome back to my another video So I just wanted to tell you a story and tell you something guys The thing actually is You may have noticed that I don't post very often on social media just because Well, I feel that hype inside me that I want to become a youtuber but it's like I'm not that kind of a person who posts on social media very much. I mean like I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook. I even have two Facebook. Yes, two Facebook pages. Uh one of them which is Patrick Somebody is about my channel, my YouTube channel. Another one is Out of Fact, which is about cars but in Lithuanian. My native country's language so anyways I just wanted to remind you today don't post very much on social media due to the computer my computer has some serious problems I don't know how to put this well uh, since I got this iPhone it's been really hard to connect to uh, with the hotspots with the computer itself because it would always tell and show Connection unavailable, fail to connect, like, basically every single time this happens. So, yeah. Uh, so, I would, so this is the first thing I would like to say to you. Now, off to the second thing. Yesterday, I have received, well, for Lithuania, a country, like, where everyone is holding a grudge on each other and angry with each other. It's not very... It's not polite, it's not the most polite thing, well, we are not the most polite people, by the way, but yesterday I have received some mind-blowing news. Yesterday, if you're living here in Lithuania, you probably know Maxima. Like, Maxima is the biggest slavery company in Lithuania. If you want to go, if you want to be a slave in, 30, in 21st century, you have to go to Maxima. You'll see all the beautiful things there. So yeah. Anyways, what happened there was like this very young, like 25 or 30 years old, uh, a security guard had screwed my girlfriend's mind. Like, where, where are you carrying there? Like, she was literally drinking coffee from a coffee cup. Yes, she was drinking coffee normally, and then the and then the security guard uh, got got to her and said, are, "Are there any drugs in there?" Like, dude, that coffee shop is in the shopping center. I have no idea what this guy thinks he is, but. I don't know. He's like, you are screwing a person's mind for literally no reason. He was just drinking coffee, and then you said, are there any drugs in the mug? Well, uh, excuse me, but is there any brain in your head? My goodness. Well, in Lithuania, if you beat up a bouncer or a security guard, well... You might get into a lot of trouble, but this guy, actually, this guy deserves to be punched in the face. I am not the person that will show off like, uh, I'm strong, check me out, I'll punch you in the face. Uh. Well, I'm not that kind of a person who will, in real life, in on the camera say this, and in real life he'll bail. But I would stand for myself, like, I mean, I would protect my girlfriend and etc. I would say to him... Yo, do you have any brain or something? Well, what the, the thing that I could have done to him is I would grab the coffee cup, those paper cup, open that, remove the top and threw the coffee on his face and said, are there any drugs now? And basically he would call the cops on me, but Actually, I've never had problems with cops before, but I would I am not afraid to have problems with cops just because to save my girlfriend like the person was crying 
and people have gathered to see what the hell was going on. And by the way, this is not the first time things like these happened. I have no idea how the guy looks like in real life, but my girlfriend said he's short. He has light and very short hair. He's very young, like I mentioned, 25 and 30 years old, and he's kind of muscular, too, just to show off. And he's in, well, I don't want to say the city, but he's living in, he's living in, I think, Ukmerge. And he's in Zhedo Street or Zhedo Gatvias Maxima. So, yeah. If you know that guy, that he's, there have been talks with him that uh, he, this is not the first victim that he has bullied. Uh, so yeah, there were many other women, especially women, not dudes, because he's a wuss, he's afraid to sin against dudes, because those dudes might punch him in the face. So yeah, guys, I mean, like, how do you even dare being a security guard to screw other people's minds and bully other people? Like, come on, man. If you want to be tough and cool, I mean, like, do not show up against innocent and people who will not fight back. I just, sometimes I just wish that karma would strike these people, strike them in the face so hard that they will remember that for the rest of the day or for the rest of their life. So yeah guys, this is the story that I wanted to tell you, uh, this was shocking, actually this was really shocking when I first started, I wanted to go to Ukmergia and whack the crap out of that guy, uh, comment down below what's your opinion, if he deserves beating or not, because I'm always ready to save my girlfriend, and I may look like a simple dude, a simple dude who uh, talks in front of a camera, but in real life, I'm a pretty serious dude, and I look at things pretty seriously, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, the link to my, also, the link to my Instagram and Facebook account will be down in the description box below. Leave a like on the page, leave a like on Instagram, follow me, and you know, basically, 21st century stuff. Uh, thank you very much for hearing my message out because this is wrong. This is wrong, and this is uh, these things shouldn't be happening. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.